Now the last thing we'll talk about are steel, steel grit and steel shot. Uh, steel grit is something you would use when you have a high demand aggressive need where you really have to clean something. This is something you're going to use on steel or other foundry metals when you're trying to clean them rapidly. This is, it's softer than aluminum oxide. It's steel, but it's still softer than aluminum oxide, and it's not going to fracture. Unlike the other materials where it fractures and breaks apart, the steel obviously is not going to fracture and break apart. Uh, this makes it excellent for etching metal. So if you have like steel and you want to etch into the steel, this is something where you put a template on and you would etch something right into the steel. And this stuff is pretty hard. It's an angular particle, so it's again, it's, it's sharper, and the, the uh, particle size is going to be like 12 to 80 grit. The, the other thing is about, since it's metal, it has a Rockwell hardness, and on the Rockwell C-scale, it's about 40 to 65 Rockwell hardness. So it's a pretty hard material, and you're going to use this for very aggressive bla blasting. I've used it before uh, to blast production parts. So you might have a giant blaster where you're putting this metal in, and you're blasting a lot of parts at once, trying to clean them and make sure they're ready for uh, some kind of surface preparation. I've never used them in a, in a setting for a shop setting, but if you do have the need for a large uh, blasting surface and you want to do it high demand, a lot of parts, uh, steel grit is the thing you want to use.